new feature is available inside your Kajabi products, the standard product. Let me show you the, what the live sessions are all about. So from your product dashboard, you want to go into one of your products that is labeled as a course. I'm going to pick how to train your puppy on the test site. We're going to open up the product. And now if you click underneath settings, this will open up and this part has been very familiar. Now this is the new feature. So if we slip this over, to provide a live video session for this course, you can give it a title, give it a description, and then set the schedule. Now, I'm going to continue to do updates to this video because many of us are gonna use it in different ways. Depending on the course, depending on what your schedule of calls is, this could be a great resource for you or for someone like myself, yes, it will be a great resource because we will do lots of testing on it because I have so many Kajabians inside of PBK. However, our schedule rotates based on what week of the month we are in. And so for myself, being able to put the schedule in here, I could link to something else. I also use my whiteboard extensively. I am not sure exactly how it's going to land in the course at this point. I will show you. So I am doing it, but I'm doing it as a testing feature. I'm not canceling my Zoom account. I'm not giving up my Zoom account, but for this upcoming call that we have on a Saturday this month for week three, our calls are on Saturday at six, I am simply swapping out the typical Zoom link because I have plenty of time to notify people and I'm going to give this a try, but I'm putting it inside of a box that says, hey, we are testing this feature, which I always recommend when you are testing something out, rolling it out to your audience, grab a few of your entrepreneur friends and definitely start kicking the tires. Okay, so are you one of those people that has just been dying for live rooms to show up? If yes, let me know how you are gonna use it in the comments. I'm still on the fence and I'm going to take a little bit longer before I jump into this and I'll explain why on the rest of the video. I am going to show you what the preview looks like, both on a test site product and also within an established product, which happens to be uh, one of the core products for my PBK community. So when you're on your product, if you didn't already know this tip, you can hold down the command key and then click preview and the product will open in a new window so you can see, oh, this is where it is. now. This is, let's see here, is it, hmm. <laughs> let's see where this landed, let's just, oh, I need to put this in, whoopsies, okay, here we go, this is why we test, testing live room testing live room oh cannot type today guys uh testing saturday 6 p.m there we go so you do have to put in your information now we'll save it now we'll come back over here we'll refresh this window go back into the product. Again, this is an, oh, there it is. Now it's showing up. So testing live room module. It does show up as a category, which I'll show you on the PBK product itself. When this opens up, and this is a um, premier theme product. So here, and then I can click join 
live and then please wait for the host to start this meeting. So we'll go back on the admin end of life and I'll show you what that looks like. But let's take a quick look at what it looks like inside PBK. So this is PBK. This is an existing product. There are hundreds of people inside this product. This is also a theme from Penny in Your Pocket. I highly recommend Penny's themes. And this is the front page. And here is the category for testing PBK member calls. So here it is. I told you I was going to swap out my normal link, our established patterns, and we will be using this because I can do it as a test call. My audience are all online entrepreneurs. 90% of them are also Kajabians. So the level of um, acceptance, the level of if it is confusing, if we have trouble getting in, all of that is totally fine because it fits in the exact fiber and the network of the business that I'm running. So when you're doing these and you're testing them, please always make sure to think about who is your audience? Is it good to jump on this early? Have you tested it? Is it going to be more confusing to your audience at this you know, early juncture or is it a great thing? So just because what's great for me could be horrible for someone else and vice versa. Always, always, always keep that in mind, especially when you hear people saying, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. You should totally do it. There's lots of unintended layers that go into saying, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. For them, yes. For you, unless you think it through, it could not be the greatest thing ever. All right, now from your outline on your course product, you will see that it has at the top live session details. It displays as a category, and now there is a button that says go live. So I can click on this. Now, I am on a test site, so this is nice because I'm going to click yes, notify and see if it sends anything to me as an admin and we will take a peek inside my email and I will show you. So I am going to say yes, notify and it's a test product, which if you have your Kajabi site, this is always a good thing to have um, so that you can run test things. So we'll put my name in here. Okay. I'm going to keep our language as English. Click continue. All right. Now let's see camera wise. Let's switch it over to my Logitech Brio. There it is. All right. So this looks very much like uh, the community live video does. And I am going to record. I will show you inside the established PBK product. I record on average three to four live hour calls a week. So it'll also be interesting to see how this stores the calls and if we are able to move them into different categories depending on where we store them. So those are some of the questions when new features roll out think about how am I currently using this? And you want to be specific in terms of how it is used. I know for a fact I cannot use the Zoom meeting registration feature because I'm constantly logging into my whiteboard. I need to be an admin in both places. I need to screen share. And so there's too many friction points for myself in terms of how I run calls. I also have other people that are sometimes the co-host of a call or Again, those of you that know how I have built the business around the babies who are no longer babies anymore, 
I sometimes need to hand off the ability of the call that we're running to someone else to take care of either Kip or Tad or now the dogs. So those are things to keep in mind in terms of awesome live video is there. Is it the right time and is this making my life easier or is it enough to say, wow, cool feature. I have established processes and procedures and ways of doing it that work really, really well for my current business. I don't need to jump just because something is available. So always be critically thinking. And now I think that's enough. We will give, we will stop the recording. And again, I will follow this through. I'm doing this in real time because that is another piece that I value when I'm watching a video. Once they're beautiful and on YouTube, that looks great. And then sometimes I feel like a dunce behind the scenes going, now where is that button? And why do I not know to save things? So that is how we went live. Now I'm going to leave the room. I'm going to click end meeting for all. Let's see, end meeting. Ending the meeting will remove everyone from the room. Are you sure? Stay behind for another meeting. Now, that could be a nice feature because for those of us that run back-to-back -back calls, I have that scenario uh, one time a month where my gold, PBK gold call, which are members that are making annually $50,000 or more have a meeting at 8.30. PBK all members are at 9.30 on a Wednesday during week two. So this could be a good feature. What I discovered with Zoom is I needed to end the call to get clean recordings. So I am just going to click end meeting and we will see what happens. You have left the room. The video meeting has ended. You can safely close this browser window. All right, we are gonna close the window. Okay, so you saw how I'm gonna use it in more of a testing environment. If you are looking for a really, really cool place to plug into, let me give you the link for PBK. We have been running and hosting PBK since 2016. It's incredible. 90% are diehard Kajabi fans, users, power users, new people, you name it, but we're constantly in there playing with this stuff, figuring out how to use it, and really being intentional about making sure that we are hiring the right features at the right time for what we are doing. All right, so the recording has processed and Kajabi has sent me an email letting me know that it is here. And if I open up, here we go. Um, if I open up the help page that's available, I will link it below this video. It will say that the recording is sent to your email. You can then open the email, download the recording, and then upload it into the product. Now, first let's check that out. And then as we're doing this, I want you to be thinking about your current processes. And to me, when I am hiring tech, even though I hired Kajabi way back in 2015, each of their new features that comes out is the equivalent of a new employee. If that new employee makes my life easier, it's a hire. If that new feature is not what makes my life in my business easier, then it is not an employee that I hire. So keeping that mindset really gives me the ability to be a discerning business owner in terms of a great tool for you might not be a great tool for me, just like a great hire for you might be a lousy hire for myself. So let's open up the email. This is what it looks like. It gives me all of the information. I can now download the recording. So for myself, as I'm watching this process go through, 
when I have Zoom sessions, I go into Zoom, I download the recording, and I upload the recording. So for me, this is not so far an employee that I'm willing to hire because things are already established with Zoom and the download and upload, I have that with Zoom. It's a download and an upload. So for myself, I'm really trying to make explicit the thought pattern that goes into looking at features of your tech and evaluating, is this a good hire for myself? So it has downloaded. Now let's go into Kajabi. We are inside the How to Train Your Puppy course. And now I am going to come down. Let's put it, we'll put it in the blank category. Um, we'll do add content. Let's do add as a lesson. This is just testing. So testing upload of a live session. Create that lesson. Open it up just like we would any standard um, adding a video into a Kajabi product. We're gonna upload it from the device. There it is. We'll let it do it, its upload as it's going. Now, depending on your browser speed, this could go very quickly or it could take a little bit longer. Mine looks like it's going relatively quickly, so we'll just stick with it. There we go. Okay, now we will click save. Now, this for me, when I am looking at this, and again, this is the beta version has just been released. So I will update this as life moves forward. But for me, one stumbling block that I would be running into immediately are closed captions. Closed captions are a non-negotiable for me. I think that is imperative for inclusivity and accessibility. I, since I've had small children 11 years ago, I watch a lot of things with closed captions because I got in the habit when the boys were babies and I needed to watch things when they were asleep. So closed captions are required. Nothing on the recording is giving me the file that I can turn into easily closed captions. I recently did a video on how to take the VTT file from Zoom and quickly using a free tool, put it into the SRT file, which is what we need in Kajabi. So there's not an easy way. Yes, I know there's a workaround way, but again, I'm looking at this as Kajabi has said, hey, we have this new employee. It's called live video inside your course. I say, great, that's fantastic. Let me take a look and see if I want to hire this new employee. So for myself, that would be a deal breaker at this point in time. I also, and there was no one else on that call, so the chat file is also very important to my calls. So those are two pieces that I need to be thinking through before I hire this employee. All right, so a couple pieces that I want to highlight is for those of you that have been running calls using Zoom, all of that is inside your product. I always say, take the new employee, the new feature, and say, where are they going to fit and how is it making it better? Because we want to hire in ways that improve what we're currently doing. So for myself, if I said, okay, one benefit is it's within the product and someone can click on a category right here and they can go in and join a live call right here. Okay, that's cool. But for myself, and I think for many of us, I have 
a join Zoom here button that people are trained to look for. So I would need to educate people. Yes, we used to have this employee over here with join Zoom here, and now we've hired a new employee and you just need to look in this other spot. So when my people that have access to that piece of content click the link, Zoom opens up and they get emails with the schedule and they are used to it being there. I've run this program since 2015. So that is currently, it's available in my product. I'm using it in my product. Um, and this is just simply re-educating people. Now, this is not a um, Kajabi theme or a straight Kajabi theme. It's like I said, it's a penny in your pocket theme, which I absolutely love. So Penny, I love your theme. Uh, for myself, this category, this live session category is showing up with my other top level categories here, but it is not showing up on the sidebar over here. So again, could be the theme I'm using, could be how I've customized it. That's another piece when you're looking at oh my goodness, this new employee is available. That is great. Just be discerning before you turn it on um, and really think about, okay, where are the pieces? And also know that sometimes it's not a, oh, I never need that. It's a, you know what? Not right now. I have other things that I'm doing. Totally good. Totally okay. But I will not be canceling my Zoom account. I like Zoom, I use Zoom, and for myself, for right now, this new employee that is available is not one that I need to hire, you know, this afternoon at all. So, thank you for watching. If you have questions, you can always leave them uh, in the comments below. People are always asking questions. Kajabi, I know Kajabi inside, outside, upside down, inside out, you name it. I know how to bend this platform like none other and am always happy to do so. So have a fabulous, fabulous time deciding if the new live video inside courses is a good hire for you. And I would love to know, are you gonna hire live room inside courses or are you going to pass on live rooms in courses right now? Bye.